Nebula, everybody. Um, I strained my voice a little too much at music therapy. Good news is the instrumental version of my song is done. Um, the vocal version is not quite done. There's just one or two more things we need to do. <coughs> but, so I will not be doing Japanese learning today. Um, I will instead be doing some playing, some practicing on my flute. This is no ordinary flute. This is a high spirits F sharp minor double Nova flute. So it's more of a Native American style, almost more recorder like flute than your classic like sideways flute. Um, let me just this flute. This is what the flute looks like. <laughs> um, actually, to move that like right there. That's what the flute looks like. Um, yeah, it's a drone flute, so it plays two notes at once. I just waved it in front of the camera. That doesn't work. I need water. I'm not great at learning new things, as you might have figured out by my Japanese streams, but I try nonetheless. <laughs> so just an example of what this flute sounds like, assuming I can cover all the holes correctly. <laughs> Messed up a little bit there at the end, but you get the idea. It's drum flute. You can also just, I can just play that side of the flute and I can just play this side of the flute. I'm not very good yet. I keep trying to cover the holes with my fingertips and they say to do it with the finger pads because the pads are bigger and it's easier. <clears throat> I do have this this book about keys and um <clears throat> and what they correspond to. You know, I've got the sheet music around here for Into the West. I did learn that on piano, but it's very, very different. Um, I can try messing around with that. <clears throat> Laying down your sweet and weary head. Um... <clears throat> And check what C and G are. C on. Um, it's just all the holes covered in the C chromatic scale. I think it's in C. I'm pretty sure. 
Oh, right, because D was the weird one. Now oh, there's two Ds. Um, see, is all the holes covered? And then G is only the top three. <clears throat> We're going to try that again. Okay, that seems fairly simple, fairly straightforward, at least the first three measures. <clears throat> Let's try it with the drone. We're going to try that again. Can't I put my fingers back down where I put them up from? This is not that hard. Bye. Which finger is the problem? the top one. I'm also holding this way too horizontally. It's too long. It's supposed to be vertically held. <clears throat> finger. Which one? Which one of you is the culprit? This has fairly large holes compared to something like a recorder, so it's a little bit trickier for me to, to get the hang of. It's that finger? Huh? Your fingers, work with me. Why do I move that finger? I don't need to move that finger. Let's try switching my hands. I still haven't discovered which side is the best for me. Because I've seen people play them both ways, and I don't know which one is better for me. There we go. I switch hands and suddenly I can do it. Maybe my right hand should go up top. <clears throat> G C E G. All right. So G, obviously, C, nope, C, 
Is there moisture buildup? That sounds like moisture buildup. Yeah, I think that's moisture buildup. How do I deal with moisture buildup again? Which specific way? Uh, page nine. Place a finger partially over the sound hole and blow hard into the flute. Then hold the flute by the bottom end. Shake the moisture out of the breath chamber. I can't, I can't take the fetish off. This is not one that has that ability. Um, okay. So partly cover the sound hole. by the bottom and shake. There we go. And got some some liquid out. That's much better. <clears throat> I sometimes forget about moisture buildup. But it is a thing. So, GCEG. Discord bidding? Is it an important Discord bidding? Probably not. Yeah, no. Okay, it's not too hard. <coughs> so it's... No, no it's not. There's no way. Only there's already enough moisture buildup to cause a problem. I just cleared it. Maybe I didn't clear it very well. Or maybe I'm just crazy. No, it did, did get rid of some water. Okay, Flute, you gonna work with me? have that much water in my mouth that you got moisture built that fast <clears throat> or am I just really bad at cleaning out moisture buildup one of the two or both I sure realized which hole is the sound hole is it this hole or is the hole at the end Wait, 
How much hell is the sound hole? Did I clean up the moisture buildup improperly? Oh no, okay, I did that right. I did it right. Naruhudo. <clears throat> G C E G. Wow, my mouth is full of liquid. That's a really weird thing to say. That sounds so weird out of context. <clears throat> Finger slid slightly. Heck. All right, and then it became G, B, D, G. And D was a pain, unless I did the high D. Because normal D is. No, it's not. I have to slide my finger halfway off the hole to hit D, or I go for the high D and go. So I could do G, G, B, D, G, or G B D G. <laughs> um, there is there even a B listed? Okay, there is. G B D G. Either way, that's the B that I have to use. The other D is. Wow, it really doesn't like it when I move my finger halfway off that hole. You can't tell me there's moisture buildup already. I won't believe you. Holy cow. They do say it gets better eventually once your mouth gets used to it. Might not have been moisture built up actually. Yeah, I don't like playing that D. I don't like it. That's a B. That's the D. Yes, we're talking about bees. Bees and D's. <clears throat> it's like one of the highest notes this can reach. Other than like D sharp. That is the highest note this flute can play is the D sharp. What if I change it from D to D sharp? So, that might feel weird, but we'll try it. 
So we'll start with G. There we go. I knew that was wrong. Oh wait, no, it goes G, B, D. So we have to do the really heckin' high B. Playing both pipes there. I'll do. I'll do both. Uh, what was that? Ah, uh, that was so Discord. Mm. No, no, I don't like that noise. That's just what it sounds like, right? Oh, because I have to play a... I have to push a lot of air through the right tube. Because it's a high note. But the left tube is a low note. So if I push a lot of air through... Actually, that might be moisture buildup. I haven't done that tube for moisture buildup. No, it just... That's the, what the note's supposed to be. I can't do that. No. So I guess this part is going to be without drone. Because I that noise ugh, rattles the brain cells. Um... It's almost like this flute's not meant to play in the key of C. It's an F-sharp minor. What would happen if I tried to play this song in F-sharp F -sharp minor? What would it sound like? I assume just F-sharp. Um, there's not even a G on here. Oh, yes, there is. It's really high, though. It's this. Just don't cover any hole in the flute and it's a G. No. <laughs> Why is that so discordant? a train whistle um let's try the other g the one we're more used to oh wait no this is f sharp that's the only listed g there is a g sharp listed which is do we know What's C? What's C? I, I can't. I can't play this song in F-sharp. It's not an F-sharp song. Especially considering this flute is tuned to a minor scale. Um, it is a nice flute, though. That's why I don't usually play songs on it. I just play it like so. Double drone flutes take a lot more breath to play. And my breath control is not good enough yet. <clears throat> so 
so I cannot play it for terribly long at a time. You can use singer's breathing techniques. even run out of breath that time. I've also been practicing the types of note changes that they recommend, <clears throat> which is one of the reasons why this doesn't work terribly well um, for playing Western music. Even though this is a Western instrument, it's much older than Western music. <clears throat> Because the kinds of note change they recommend are the, the fluttering that you've probably heard a little bit. The... Moisture buildup. I am really bad at the whole moisture buildup thing at this current point in time. I'd live in a desert, but my mouth often has a lot of saliva in it. <clears throat> there we go. So the, the kind of fluttering What happened there? So kind of like that, just basically playing the next note and then going back, going back and forth a lot is one of the things they recommend <clears throat> in my little book. The other thing they recommend is rolling the note. I like that. Which note is coming? Which finger is not cooperating with me? That is not the sound that's supposed to make. Did I not clear the moisture buildup properly? Because that's the sound it makes when there's too much moisture buildup. clearing it a slightly different way this time. Let's see if that helps. I'm actually going to try one additional thing as well. Rolling the note, like I was saying. It's just, as far as I can tell, it's where you uncover the note slowly. I have not gotten very good at it, but you basically roll your finger off the note, which I find pulls other fingers off of other notes for me. Um, I'd much prefer the fluttering sound.
Alright. I'm sorry, this probably isn't a terribly interesting stream. Was I blowing too much air? The heck? My flute has reverb all of a sudden. I think there's moisture buildup in the drone side. I don't know how I have so much moisture buildup. I couldn't be able to tell the difference. See, when there's a problem, it's almost always moisture buildup. It's either me or moisture buildup. Usually it's me. But I can usually tell the difference. I think I got some rolled notes there pretty well. You could hear they... I just covered them slowly instead of covering them quickly. And I think that's kind of the sound you're going for with a rolled note. Um, I think. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. If I had a mountain range to look at, I would go and look at the mountain range. Um, but I'm in a basement. Because they do they recommend playing the land. Actually, you know what? Let's try that. Let's Google some mountain ranges. Just mountain range image. Hmm, that one looks like it'd be interesting. Um... It'll be hard for me to easily show you the mountain range. Um, unless I had like a display capture or something, I guess. Uh, I don't have a display capture though. I am too lazy. <clears throat> As long as I have something to reference, that's what matters. You don't need to see my reference. That's about what that mountain range looks like. They, they recommend looking at the land and finding the peaks and the valleys and playing music based off the shapes of nature. Which I actually find to be quite interesting. Um...
I want another good mountain range. For playing music. Give me a mountain range. <clears throat> that's, that's not nearly enough mountain. I demand a whole range. This is just an actual drawing, but it'll do. Ranges. This is I'm just I'm just playing around at this point, but it is still practicing. I'm mostly practicing to make sure I can put my fingers back in the right places. Cause holy cow, that should be easy. But no. <clears throat> what mountain ranges are near Sun Valley, Idaho? All I googled was mountain range. I don't even know where Sun Valley is. the wrong finger. If I've heard that problem before, it's definitely moisture control. Moisture control, moisture buildup. I'm getting everything mixed up. There we go. Got some of the moisture out. Problem is it didn't take a lot of moisture buildup to basically render the flute unplayable. So it's really what I need to focus on controlling. Because until I can actually control that, it's hard to play the flute for longer than about a minute. Maybe two. <clears throat> Where was I? I like that sound. There we go. Why was it playing the other sound before? Definitely me. There's more to build up in both sides of the flute. I forgot about that. That's a thing. cleared one side of the flute of moisture buildup. <clears throat> now, should be better. The moisture buildup is a little bit annoying, but that's a me problem. I can fix that. 
I just don't know how yet. Um... It's a very interesting flute, these these Native American ones. They have such a unique sound to them. Give me one second. Friend wants some help. Oh, um, Did I bind it to a Microsoft account? Uh... Did I? Java Yeah. I don't know if it still exists. Um, friend wanted to borrow my spare Minecraft account, but I don't remember. If I No. If I bound uh, my uh, um, I, I don't think I ever bound it. Which means it's gone. Because it was like, I had three Minecraft accounts for some reason, and I gave one to my sister, and I forgot about the third one. Um, yeah, and they were deleting accounts that weren't connected to a, a Microsoft account. So yeah, that one's probably gone. Not that I ever used it. Yeah, yeah, you can have my optional diagnostic data. I'm switching back to my other account on my Minecraft launcher. Um. Okay. Better. the heck is that mountain range? I might have to try playing that one. That's a very interesting looking mountain range. Apparently it's in the US somewhere. 
It's very, very jagged. I don't know if I have seen mountains that jagged, jagged in person ever. Actually, no, I need more range than that. Moisture buildup again. There's so many jag jagged bits on this mountain. I'm trying to emphasize that with the fluttering. It's a very, very jagged mountain. I would argue that it has 15 different peaks. like 50 minutes of flute practice. I still have a calendar from 2023 hanging on my wall. You know what the sad part about that is? It ain't flipped to December. It's flipped to May. Anyway, I'm probably going to wrap up this stream. Uh, we haven't decided what we're doing in two hours. I'm going to jump into voice call, even though you won't be able to hear Sam. What are we playing in two hours? Sam? Sam? I think he might have stepped away to help his wife with her new phone. We'll be playing something in two hours at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Mountain Standard. What is, what does Mountain Standard sound like? I'm just going to let my brain take a moment and just play.
I felt a lot of moisture build up that time and sprayed over my face. Um, no wonder I couldn't get that going. I'm just gonna keep going. That's what my brain says Mountain Standard Time is. But at 6 p.m. we'll be playing a collab. Either Sam and Luna will be playing Keep Talking, Nobody Explodes, or all three of us will be playing something. I have no idea. Um. Oh, I get to mark all my flute playing off my, off my chart. My habit tracker. Because I've been lacking this week. It's Friday. Uh, that, that, I need to read, I need to read for like an hour, then I'm done. Except for the stuff for tomorrow. But the stuff for tomorrow is for tomorrow. When I actually have more time. I might do the reading tomorrow as well. Um, wow, what the heck? How photoshopped? Okay, okay, okay. I want you guys to see just how painfully photoshopped this picture of the Himalayas is. I don't believe it for a second that someone didn't crank that saturation slider to about a hundred. Um, where's that flute picture? I'm just gonna edit that one. Uh. There we go. Browse, switch picture to this. Look how much they boosted the saturation. I don't believe those colors for a second. I don't believe it for a second. Ke Kelly, you're in front of the camera. Kelly. I just, I don't believe it. That's all. Um, they're tall mountains, sure, but I don't believe those colors. They're too vivid. They look really fake. Um, I don't even know what mountain that is. That's not even necessarily the Himalayas. That doesn't even look like the Himalayas. Hang on. There is no way that those colors are like that. There's no way. That's Photoshop to heck. I took a Photoshop course. That looks heavily Photoshopped. Um. Anyway. This this is not I'm gonna close this before I get on another tangent. Um but Yeah, we'll be playing something in an hour and forty minutes. I have no idea what. I'm sure we'll decide by then, so just keep an eye out. Um I other than that, I'm not streaming again until Tuesday at ten AM Mountain Standard Time, where I'll be streaming more Adventures of Dave in Skyrim. Um it's been pretty fun so far, so I'm going to keep going. We've been doing the Dawn Guard quest line, and we're going to be on the search for Oriel's bow. An interesting quest, and a powerful weapon. Especially when used with sun-hollowed elven arrows. I like shooting them into the sky, specifically into the sun, and watching doom rain upon my enemies! If I remember Sun Hallowed Elven Arrows right. I'm pretty sure they do that. I know the Blood Cursed ones do weird things to the sun. But that's besides the point. Um. With all that being said. If you liked what you saw. And you want to see more. Make sure to. over And subscribe to my YouTube channel. I don't post to it as regularly as I should. But. I do occasionally batch post. You can find my previous streams there. At least the ones that are older. Um, 
you can, if you want to get informed of when I go live, make sure to follow me over on Twitter. Except for usually this stream each week, I usually just don't have time. Um, I'm usually already late um, for this particular stream every other week, specifically. Um, and if you want to get informed of when any of us go live, have easy access to our schedules, or interact with us or our community, make sure to join our Discord. With that being said, hi, hi, Callie. Hi. Callie's being cute. I forgot I looked like that when I looked down. I'm going to take your soul. Um. <laughs> what are you going to look up? Uh, the impact is not as severe as just the sheer silver eyes. So off putting. Um. With that being said, saving the universe one note at a time, Starseeker Williams.